Hello you guys, it's just Tiana and today I'm going to be playing this game called episode I forget what the episode is called but I'll let you know in a minute and the reason I'm doing this is because honestly you guys I am so freaking bored, it's ridiculous and I saw this YouTuber Gen X Pen playing this game and it looked really fun actually and so I thought it would kill my boredom so I'm going to be playing that and yeah, there's nothing really else to say. I'm just gonna be playing a game, so yeah. Okay, so this episode is called Crush on a Bad Boy. So you know there's about to be some major tea because we've all been there before and there's always some tea involved. So I'm excited. Back when I was still me, my name was... It's your first name. My name's Tiana. How are you doing? Okay. Oh wow, where is he going? Axel. Oh, Axel's cute. I like him. Tiana! Wow, he is running through the house. Tiana, I know you're in there. What is his tea? And I know she's in there with you too. Ooh. What's the tea here? Am I a bit of a Lebanese? Love that. You girls can't hide from me forever, you stupid whores. He's like actually scary. As you can see, there's only one of us in here. Yeah, and I look good. And that's kind of the problem. Like I said, this isn't a normal love story. Ooh, T. I feel like there's gonna be a love triangle where I like steal this man's girl or something, but then I, uh, but then it's falling for a bad boy. I don't know, let's see what happens. This is the story of how I fell in love transformed into the most famous girl in town and turned my whole life upside down. I wonder if she's a bit of a fast one and that's why this guy is mad at her because he thinks she stole his girl because he's like, Tiana, you'll be sleeping with everyone in town. That's why you're so famous and that's why everybody knows you and that's why your world is turned upside down because you're always on your back. And that's why he's mad. I predicted the story right now. I stole his girl. Ooh. But I'm jumping way ahead. Yeah, let's see what the girl story is. Back then, I looked like this. Okay, like, she's gorgeous. Like, they're trying to make her feel ugly, but she's like perfect. Like, okay. Make her like a little less gorgeous because she's trying to be a nerd. Like, okay. Not that it mattered what I wore back then. At school, I was invisible. She's like so depressed and she's like freaking Cara Delevingne. I was at the top of my classes, but to everyone who mattered, I didn't exist. Poor girl. Just kidding. <laughs> that is how he said. Who is this guy? Okay, this is like someone I would hang out with in real life. The theater nerd, I love him. She's gonna get with him, I'm telling you. She's gonna ditch the bad boy later in the story and she's gonna get with him because everybody falls for the theater nerd. Let's be real. The only person who ever knew my name was my best friend, Jackson. Jackson was our resident actor extraordinaire. Ooh, look at that audience. Get it, Jackson. My partner in every class, and the one person who made me feel seen. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna get with him. Unless he's gay. Then that would be an issue. But I'm gonna make them get together. We'll see, hopefully. Oh my god, they're cute. But as tolerable as Jackson made school, my former bestie, Layla, made it miserable. She looks annoying already. Like, I, they all look about 50 years old in high school. Like, what? Who drinks their coffee? Like, <laughs> my whole freaking cup was like, like, okay. Watch where you're going, loser. Cliche. Oh, where do these people come from? Like 40 freaking people to show up to laugh at her, okay? Oh my god, did you just pee yourself? That's so gross. Though I hate her. She's pretty though, I'm not gonna lie. What? 
Don't tell me you're gonna cry now. So, oh, 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 what are we gonna do? <clears throat> Stand up to Layla, walk away, or break down? No. Because you're building your confidence, girl. You're about to get with this bad boy. So we're going to stand up to Layla. You know what, Layla? Maybe you should spend less time dumping coffee on people and more time learning how to read. Oh, she got her. Here's a tip. Books only make sense if you know what the letters mean. Did you say? It looks like she's flirting with her. Your clothes are screaming future cat lady so loud I couldn't hear you. That was dumb. They're all just sitting there laughing. Oh, here comes this guy. Yes, the bad boy who's going to save the day. Oh my god, it's Axel. I literally Augustus Waters. Axel, hey. He's like, no, squad, I don't want your bullying self. See you at the dance tonight. That eye roll, he's like Axel Storm Spencer. Yes, Dad. Have you experienced the signature blend of torture and delight of having a huge crush on someone who doesn't know you exist? Yes, because mine looks like this. He's actually gorgeous. Like I'm not gonna lie. That's. She is sizing him up, yes. Axel was the hottest guy in school, I could tell. Town, and probably the whole world, dramatic. <laughs> all anyone knew was he was cute, rich, and always in trouble. We love a bad boy. It didn't matter that every girl was in love with him. Look at this. They're all just like, when he passes by, like imagine if he did that in real life. Like every time you saw a cute boy, you just like. <sighs> Who is this body now? Oh my god, Axel gets the most girls and they all look like owls. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but I mean, Loki, look at that skirt. He couldn't care less. Sees this girl and goes and walks off literally me. No matter how hard I tried, I could never seem to catch Axel's eye until. What's she doing? Oh, she's cleaning the coffee. Come on, come on, come out. Hey, is this mother freaker in the girls' restroom? You know this is oh you know this is the men's bathroom, right? OMG 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 Axel Who does Who just repeats OMG like 30 freaking times? Are you lost or here for our rendezvous? Be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Like, let's start this relationship off right. I kind of had a wardrobe malfunction at lunch and jumped in the first door. I saw, well, he saw you had a wardrobe malfunction. He was right there. He didn't even defend you. He just rolled his eyes at the girls and walked away. Girl, walk away now. If he doesn't defend you, go. Good, because if you were here for a hookup, I totally question your judgment. What? <laughs> Please. A quickie in the bathroom is about as romantic as a date in a sewer. Good one. He lost. He's <laughs> OMG, did I just make Spencer laugh? Like, yeah, calm down. Whoa! Is Axel Spencer slumming it with Little Miss Doubtfire? Uh, they have the dumbest this. This is this. This is. Find another bathroom, Matt. Get your skank self out of here, Matt. I'm trying to have sex with Tiana. 
You know what they say. Freaks of a feather flock together. Ew, he's like, freaks of a feather flock together. <laughs> Have fun, you two. Forget him, he's a two. It's okay. I'm used to it. Even though I'm gorgeous, people still hate me for some reason. She looks like Catherine! Oh my god, I kept trying to figure out when I made her face like more round like that, who she looks like. She looks like mother freaking Catherine from the Ace Family. Oh, I love her. Um, maybe I should go. Interesting costume, by the way. What? A dick. Costume! For the Halloween dance tonight. I'm guessing you're a librarian or a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> what a dick. Those aren't your real clothes, are they? No, let's be real with this guy. Like... Come on, Axel, I'm gonna put you in your place. You gonna learn today, Axel. Rude, yes they are. Not that I owe you an explanation, but these are my real clothes. In fact, I made them myself. How about that? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Like she's all mad because she told them, like, if he doesn't like you because you're wearing like a cute, Vintage outfit? Forget freaking Axel. What are your other friend? What was his name? I forgot already. What was her theater friend's name? Anyway, she's gonna hook up with him. Watch. But I was going to the dance. Would I see you there? Hit me. Not that it's any of your business, but I might swing by. Oh, he's petty. Might be a good place to find an angel. I've never been able to resist them. I hate him so much. This is the exact boy you need to run from, girls. Take a lesson from this game. He said, I, OMG, I just totally embarrassed myself in front of Axel Spence. Oh God, he's been arrested already? What did he do? <laughs> His eyebrows kill me. Every time he sees someone new, he's just like, Axel. Look at that officer's outfit, like me too. Well, if it isn't our fine officer, the law and the councilman Adams. What were we talking about this time? Vandalism, public intoxication. Try Grand Theft Auto, wow. This guy's scary. I'm scared of Axel. Sounds serious. Damn right it's serious, boy. You better get your act together. Any idea how my 69 Shelby Cobra wound up at the bottom of the lake last night? Well, you of all people know how bad crime in this town is. Dad. Ooh, he's a daddy. No, he's literally his dad, that's weird. Your stepdad here just told me you're turning 18 tomorrow. That means we can finally change, charge you as an adult. Oh, he's ready, Brad, so he's trying to come for him real quick. That your way of wishing me a happy birthday? Watch yourself, Axel. He, he didn't even say anything, like, you stay on this route, you'll end up in prison instead of college, and we both know what that means. I mean, yeah, he'll be in jail. <laughs> Your father was smart to leave you. That is so messed up. Doesn't have to deal with the screw up for a son anymore. Wow. Oh, his face, he's like, okay. 
Wow, Axel's actually speechless. I know just how to step in and help him. And standing up to the authorities was really impressive. Yeah, get yourself arrested to impress this boy that keeps dragging your clothes and they didn't even defend you when the hoe from the cafeteria threw coffee on you. Well, you guys, one thing in this game, I don't have money, I'm broke, and it's not a joke. So I'm gonna have to go the free route throughout this whole game because I'm not about to spend money on diamonds. Sorry about it. So we're just gonna take the route the game leads us and that's free. And just see where it goes from there. So I'm just gonna stay my little booty where we are because we shouldn't intervene with the law anyways for some boy. So I'm just gonna stay where you are. Maybe I'll just stay out of it. He's so sad. No, no rebuttal. Good, that's what I thought. Punk. You got a date with justice, Axel. It's only a matter of time. You so dumb. Well, tell her I'm busy tonight. Savage. Gonna be looking for a beautiful stranger at the dance. The officer, he just walks away, he's like, okay. And that's when it happened, the craziest idea I ever had. I should have ignored it, but instead I went and had sex with Axel all night long. Texan, I need to use your theater skills to transform me into a beautiful stranger for the dance. This is a great game. We're teaching girls about changing ourselves and getting involved with the law for a boy. Whoa. That's some good lessons. He just laughs at her. He's like, slut, you ugly. I'm not gonna change you. It's not a joke. Since when do you go to school dances? If you're going to laugh at me, I'll just do it myself. Wait! I'm sorry, Tiana. Forgive me? Yeah, I'll forgive him because, I mean, I want to make over, let's be real. It's okay, I forgive you. What's wrong, Tiana? I'm just so tired of being me. Relatable. I just want to transform, even if just for one night. What is this, Cinderella? A little Cinderella story? Where's Chuck? The blonde guy, Axel, is Chad Michael Murray. This is a Cinderella story. Oh my God, I'm excited. What's wrong with being you? I happen to like you just the way you are. Oh, don't worry, boo-boo. That's why you're going to get me at the end. Their expressions are so dramatic. Um, I mean, I like that you're chess club president, scholastic bowl champion, and our future valedictorian. Jackson, I'm bullied all the time. I'm the ultimate nobody. She still has to get that stain off her skirt. It looks disgusting. Like, get a new outfit, boo-boo. You're unique and amazing, unlike those oafs and bimbos out there. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look, all you have to do is survive another year, and before you know it, we'll be at Stanford together. Wow! Talk about relationship goals. Maybe, but I don't want to go through school missing out on all the other stuff. Fine, I'll do it because you're being annoying and complaining and whining and I'm sick of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you! But only if we could still go to the Weekenders concert tomorrow night. The Weekenders? What is that? Is that like The Weekend? Oh, I love him. Of course, we've been planning it for months, you dummy. Of course we're going to go. I bought the tickets. And you still need to get it passed. Absolutely not. No dances, no parties, no hanging out. And therefore, 
No selling your body for drugs. <laughs> what? What is going out have to do with selling your body for drugs? What is happening? Her mom's so dramatic. And why hasn't she changed her skirt yet? I'm tired of looking at it, you dirty girl. This is my wicked stepmother, Cleo. Oh, her and her boo-boo, Axel, both have wicked step-parents. Ooh, love having things in common. She's controlling and treats me like one of her psychiatric patients. Cleo, come on, please. My dad would let me. Well, your dad isn't here right now, you little hoe. So you're gonna stay your little prude butt right here in the house. And until he gets back. All right, but I'm picking you up at 10 p.m. sharp. If you're not outside, I'm coming in. Now, lucky for you, I have the perfect costume, team. She like, doesn't want her to go and then watch her give her the thoughtiest costume she could find. Oh, never mind. This would be me though, like, I'm that person who wears the stupidest costumes and who looks a complete wreck. I wanted to transform into the someone glamorous, not the last survivor after an apocalypse, of an apocalypse. He's just like always mad at Let's start with, uh, this girl clearly took off her clothes to put on the costume. She gets out the costume and puts on the same dirty little outfit. Like, what is wrong with her? She just loves looking dirty. Let's start with the wig. Let's start with changing your skirt. Wow, you're really going for it. Next, you're gonna say, I need contacts and lipstick too. And for a costume, I was thinking like, a beautiful dark angel. Just like X. I mean, just like I always imagined. Alright, let's do this. Okay, you guys. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. I thought that was a perfect spot to end it anyway. She's about to go to the dance and get it on with Axel, even though her friend, I keep forgetting his name, Jackson. Was it Jackson? I don't know, something like that. Anyways, even though we all know she's gonna get it in with him at the end of the season or show whatever it's called but anyways i'm gonna leave it right there the next time she's gonna be going to the dance we're gonna be getting her ready and i'm actually like kind of excited for that because i want to see what happens with axel anyways you guys i really hope you liked it and if you did please let it get a bit Please give it a thumbs up and let me know so I can make more episodes of this. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what other games you want to see me play, if there are any, or what you think about this so far, or just whatever you want to talk about. Leave it in the comments down below, and I will respond. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching? Watching. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next episode if you guys want another one. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and goodbye. I don't know why I do that. That's my outro. Bye.